I'm not a daiquiri, but I play one on TV. Hello and welcome to Intoxicated Masculinity. If it's Wednesday, we have a cocktail video coming at you. Today we are going to continue our theme of summery themed cocktails. Uh, and this is a cocktail that is very much akin to the daiquiri, which we've talked about in the past, and that is the Gimlet. Uh, the Gimlet is very similar to the daiquiri in that it is, uh, has a, is a lime flavored citrus sort of cocktail. In this case, we are using gin instead of rum as our base spirit. Uh, one of the things that's interesting about this, I, I can't tell you exactly which cocktail is older. Um, I sort of always thought the daiquiri was older than the Gimlet, but I, I can't really say that for sure. The cocktail goes back to the early days of the British Navy and the idea of the prevention of scurvy and them figuring out that vitamin C or lack of vitamin C is why people got scurvy. And so you get some of these, these inventions. Now, the one thing that we're going to get into a little more when we start making the cocktail is the differences on how you add your lime flavor to this cocktail. Um, and that, I think, is the more interesting part to, to our making it. We're going to make three versions of this drink. So, without further ado, let's do that. All right, we're back and we have some ingredients. Those familiar with the Gimlet are probably wondering, why do you have all this stuff on the bar when this is a two-ingredient cocktail? Well, that's sort of what we're going to talk about. So this is traditionally a two-ingredient cocktail. It's traditionally made with this, uh, which is Rose's Lime Cordial. Um, we're going to maybe challenge that a little bit and see if that's the best way to make this. Starting off, though, We've got our gin. Now, there's a lot of different people suggesting a lot of different gins for this. The one that I saw pop up the most is our Plymouth, which is why I'm gonna use Plymouth gin for this. And none of you saw how long it took me to get the little topper off the top of there, so that's fine. So these are all gonna start off the same way. So they're each gonna call for two ounces of our gin, in this case, Plymouth gin. Now, where we go from there is going to be different in each one of these. We're going to start off on my right hand side with our Rose's Lime Cordial. Now, the, uh, the ratios on this vary pretty significantly. I'm going to do a two to one. I think nowadays a four to one is maybe a little bit more uh, conventional, but I'm going to do, I'm going to do two to one because I'm going to do the same ones sort of similarly with the other ones. So we're going to toss in one ounce of our Rose's Lime Cordial. We're gonna leave that right here so we remember that. So the next one in Meehan's uh, Bartender's Guide, he suggests using a homemade uh, Lime Cordial. So all this is is a simple syrup with a bunch of uh, lime zest thrown in. This has been steeping, he said makes let it steep for 10 minutes and then drain it. I've just left it in here and we're gonna fine strain this and we'll get out the, the, the uh, zest when we do that. So in this case, we're gonna do the same thing we did with our Rose's Lime Cordial. And toss in one ounce. This doesn't pour very well. Perhaps that's why he suggested straining that out first, but it's fine. Okay one ounce and this is just of our homemade lime cordial Now the last one we're gonna do something a little bit different so I am just gonna to toss in about three quarters of an ounce of fresh squeezed lime juice and a half an ounce of simple syrup so this is going to actually be just a tiny bit uh, have a tiny bit more than the other two but I think um, just given what we're doing with it, I think that's going to be perfectly fine. So, we have our Rose's Lime Cordial traditional gimlet on the right, our sort of updated uh, with the uh, homemade lime cordial in the center, and then just making this sort of a lot more like you would a traditional daiquiri, which is just using lime juice and simple syrup. So, let's get some ice in our shaker and shake these things up. Okay, let's toss these in our shakers and give them a good shake. So we got a nice good covering of frost over all over all these and I am going to put these in some chilled Nick and Nora glasses 
Now, the Nicanora would not be my first uh, choice on these. Unfortunately, I have been very butterfingersy butter with my uh, uh, coupe glasses lately, and so I do not have very many left, unfortunately. So, first we've got our traditional Roses Lion Cordial. Now, you will notice these are probably not gonna take up the whole glass. Again, Nicanora is not really the perfect glass for this cocktail, but I think it's just gonna work fine. Next up, we have our Meehan's Guide Homemade Lime Cordial. And we pretty much got all this. I don't see any zest in there at all, so we're perfectly fine there. And finally, the gimlet that walks like a daiquiri. third glass. And there we have our Gimlet three ways. Let's give them a try. Okay, so we start off on my right with our traditional uh, Roses Lime Cordial. It's good. It's pretty good. Um, Again, making it for myself, I probably would have gone with the one quarter. Um, the sweetness tastes a little artificial, uh, but the lime is mixing in very well with the gin. I like that. I like that pretty well. Um, again, I, my, my criticism is something that I did, which I, I put uh, the, the two to one instead of the, the four to one. But... Uh, yeah, the sweetness is coming through just a little bit, uh, kind of like an artificially kind of a, I don't know if this has high fructose corn syrup in it, but I would be surprised if it didn't. Yeah, it does have high fructose corn syrup in it, which is really that kind of artificial sweetness. So let's try our traditional. By the way, this is made with just a regular simple syrup, just cane sugar and uh, the lime zest. Very different, um, ex extremely different cocktails. Um, I would say I probably like this more. This is something where the flavor is going to be coming from how you make your personal uh, little cordial. Um, I made this fairly zest heavy because I like a, a, a sour cocktail. It's interesting though, the zest isn't bringing the sourness It is bringing a lime flavor and a sweetness, which is good, but kind of different. Uh, it doesn't have that kind of tartness that you sort of expect when you put lime in something. This was maybe a little more tart, but not much. Um, just kind of a little bit of bite. This very little bite, um, but also kind of very, a, a tasting note that I hate, smooth, I guess you could say. Uh, you're already getting a lot of lime flavor. The sweetness isn't overpowering. Um, that's pretty good. I just sort of miss a little bit of that right on the front tartness. Now let's try our, our uh, daiquiri gimlet. Let's see what we think of that one. More tartness on this, which I like. Um, this is really interesting. I think this, the, the lime works better here, but when you do it this way, it kind of comes off not really tasty, because a gimlet's kind of a unique little flavor. Um, this is a tough one, I'm not sure which one I'd go with. This has a, since, since you, you're sort of getting the flavor of lime without the tartness, it actually brings a certain degree of like herbaceousness to it, which goes well with the gin. I mean, that's a good cocktail. That's a good cocktail. It doesn't have that kind of bite. Um, so if you're looking for that kind of, that, that lime tart bite, you're not gonna get it there. It 
It's interesting, I did not think I would go with this. I think if I was in the mood specifically for a gimlet, I think that I would probably just go with the traditional. Um, I, I was kind of, because uh, you know there is high fructose corn syrup, it's got kind of a little bit of an artificial sweetness to it, but ultimately that tastes like a gimlet. Um, these two, while both being good cocktails, kind of don't. Um, again, this one with the, the homemade cordial, very because it's it's very very lime and herbal and it's good but it, there is no sort of lime bite there so if that's what you're looking for you're not gonna get there yeah I think on that bombshell I think we're gonna go ahead and say that I would order again if I was ordering specifically trying to order the, the best gimlet that I could I could think of I think I would probably just go with the traditional and use it the uh, the roses lime cordial side yeah on that bombshell I want to thank everybody for watching please like share and subscribe have a good drink and have a good day Why can't I just fucking say that?